Language barriers. Types of language barriers. The use of jargon. Emotional barriers and taboos. Lack of attention, interest, distractions, or irrelevance to the receiver. Differences in perception and viewpoint. Physical disabilities such as hearing problems or speech difficulties. How does this language barrier impact the work environment? It can create unnecessary arguments or disagreements. If administration comes off as being insensitive or rude, then the employees will not be receptive to anything the administrator has to say. In some cases, if the administrator does not speak in a language that anyone can understand, then a barrier is created, and the employees will not understand what has been said, therefore the administrator's goal is not complete. If the administration uses languages such as phrases that the employee does not find humorous or doesn't comprehend, then the goal or speech from the administration will not get across. In some cases, if there is an age gap and different viewpoints are trying to be communicated, sometimes one or both groups will not receive the intended message. If the other party has a hearing problem, then the message from the sender will not be received. Top communication barriers at the workplace. Speak slowly and clearly. Focus on clearly enunciating and slowing down your speech. Even if you're pressured for time, do not rush through your communication. Doing so often takes more time, as miscommunication and misunderstanding can result and you'll ultimately have to invest additional time in clearing up the confusion. Ask for clarification. If you're not 100% sure you've understood what others say, politely ask for clarification. Avoid assuming you've understood what's been said. Frequently check for understanding. Check both that you've understood what's been said and that others have fully understood you. Practice reflective listening to check your own understanding. An example would be, so what I hear you saying is, and use open-ended questions to check other people's understanding. Ask, what's your understanding of this process? Instead of, is that clear? Be careful of jargon. Watch the use of TLAs, three-letter abbreviations, and other organizational language that may not be understood by others. If you use them, provide in parentheses a description of what these are so others can learn to use the same language you do. Be specific. Spell out your expectations and deadlines clearly. Instead of, please get back to me shortly, Say, please email the completed form by 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, February 21st. Choose your medium of communication effectively. Carefully choose your form of communication. Phone or video conference, email, instant message, etc. Be mindful not to overuse email. While useful, there are times the medium is likely to be ineffective. When a message is complex or complicated, or there is tension or conflict that needs to be resolved, switch to another medium. Be patient. Cross-cultural communication takes more time, if not at all times, certainly initially. You cannot expect your communication to occur with the same speed and ease as when you are communicating with someone from your own culture. 